there are 1 million groups on LinkedIn. And according to some recent stats, 100 plus new groups are started daily. Those groups include everything from financial and IT to social media and content marketing groups, travel lawyers, teachers and co uh, consultants, for example. So there, ha there is, I am certain, a group for everyone or several groups for that matter for everyone. And in these groups, these are all professionals with decades of skills and expertise. They are eagerly waiting to share it all with you. And very importantly, groups are filled with potential clients. And for job hunters, there are tons of human resource pros and recruiters who would hire you. I mean, why would you not want to be on groups if you could get hired or um, find clients? In fact, clients find you. It's a, it's a lot easier with groups. You're right. Like, uh, you know, groups are there because people are, are wanting to network. They're, they're putting themselves out there. They've joined LinkedIn for you know, a reason to see what other opportunities are out there, whether it's a job opportunity or, or clients or partners. You know, the, the list goes on in terms of, you know, your business. Uh, and LinkedIn is your online business identity or professional identity. So uh, you really need to make sure that you, you, you use it in that way. For sure. And joining groups is uh, about the right ones uh, for you and your business. It's not just randomly joining popular groups with millions of members. In fact, it's best not to join groups with millions of members because it is very difficult, uh, even for someone um, on my level, to raise your visibility. You're best to join groups with 20,000 plus members unless it's necessary to join a local group uh, with far less, but those are maybe people in your immediate target market. The groups that will likely be most valuable to most people are those related to your industry, your job function, and your current or desired location. That can be very important. If you can find a group, which includes both the location and the industry that uh, you are involved in. For example, accountants in Seattle. Those are groups from which you know you are going to receive the most valuable uh, or value, excuse me, from your membership. And you should also join um, alumni groups, but I'll cover that in a moment. So are you uh, agreed with me about joining uh, Specific groups, Liam, what's your thought on that? Yeah, I mean, there's no point in, um, you know, joining groups that, uh, you know, don't have your potential customers in. I mean, you've got to have a goal, I think, when you're uh, starting out on LinkedIn. You don't want to have a purpose of, you know, what do you want to eventually reach? What's your, what's your ultimate outcome? And if it's to generate new business, then and and your and your target customers are you know accountants in Seattle. Join you know those types of groups like um, you know specific to accountants in Seattle. Don't go and and join uh, you know other types of groups. If you're a tech kind of company offering technology to uh, accountants, then uh, you know don't go and join all these tech. Uh, groups you want to go where your your target customers are so absolutely the more the more niche and more target uh, you can go the more benefit uh, you're going to get out of uh, interacting in those groups and that's absolutely true however I would make one suggestion you should join some groups uh, which include people who you do not believe are your target audience but I'll talk about uh, more on that later uh, because that's very important you need to uh, you need to communicate to participate with people who aren't usually on your wavelength, who may turn out to be clients. Yeah, I think uh, it's important to get out there and 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 network and uh, you know groups can be a really valuable thing. And as you said, you know there's there's uh, you know a couple of million groups out there and hundreds joining every day. So you really uh, <laughs> you know you've really got an opportunity there to niche down and be really specific so yeah know your outcome and uh, go go there go with there with a purpose but I did want to cover because it's very important how to do some evaluating of which groups you should join um, 
we really need to think when we join a group or anyone joins a group, what is the potential value you or just including that in your last comment, what is the potential value you want to receive from each group? For example, it's an opportunity to share knowledge. It might, this might sound counterintuitive, I know, but uh, hear me out. The more knowledge you can share freely with others, the more benefits you'll receive. And joining several groups who are not your target audience allows you to present yourself to thousands who didn't know you even existed.